Hey guys, welcome back to 4 Wide Racing. Today we're going to be reviewing Noah Gregson's 2022 Wendy's car. So this is Noah Gregson's 2022 Wendy's 124. He ran it at Talladega in his first ever cup start. Take a look around the car. Open the hood for y'all. When this car came out, I immediately knew that it was something that I had to get. Because it just looks so great, you know? Mm. Den number 242. I'll set it like that for now. So I found it on Facebook a couple weeks ago for 70 bucks, And I was like, I'll buy this and post a review on the YouTube. The only issue I have with this car is Lionel's quality control. As you can see right here, there is a paint error on the nose of this car. That irks me. I just I just hate that. But I got it for 70 bucks. So the car is like a hundred to $130 car. I can live with myself. These big next gen rims. It just looks pristine. Wendy's has actually put together a great marketing plan for Noah Gregson. So they've also sponsored his 2023 Daytona 500 car and his 2023 Talladega Spring car. And both of those have turned out looking great. And I really like this because not many sponsors utilize this roof space right here. And Wendy's just utilized every aspect of this car. One of the few paint schemes that really looks good with the door number slid forward. Like I couldn't imagine it without it slid forward. And to go with this car, I actually have the matching 164 signed by Noah from when I was at Martinsville not long ago. Like a month ago. And I found this car in the gypsy tents outside, bought it. And then I found out Noah Gregson was doing an autograph session in the track. So I took it in there, got him to sign that. And a Charlotte Knights car that he ran last year. I believe it was at Charlotte at the Coca-Cola 600. I also have, I don't know how well this is going to fit. I also have the matching holder to go with it right here and then the last piece of my windy set is this authentic that i found a couple days ago i already had the gold series 164 but i just had to pick it up because i've been looking for this thing so long so i went ahead and got it noah hasn't exactly been on fire this year i, I think most of it's the equipment Legacy's not that great this year. Kind of not good at all. Finished 30 to 35th every week. I mean, Noah's running 31st, 32nd on average. His average finish can't be higher than like 28th. Equipment's been terrible. But it'll pick up for him, I hope. He'll get a better ride. Or maybe that equipment will improve. We'll see what happens. I had high hopes for him coming into Cup for his rookie year. It is what it is. After he dominated in Xfinity last year. With JRM in that nine car. Won eight races, I believe. Finished second in points. Should have won the championship. We can take a peek into the interior of this car. So I was really hoping Noah would get on an episode of the Dale Jr. download, but it seems as if that's not happening for him. I don't know if him and Dale Jr.'s relationship isn't great or what, but he's never been up there. It's kind of disappointing. So that's about it for the review, guys. I mean, let me know what cars you want to see next. I probably will have it. If not, I'll go buy them. Just let me know. Leave it in the comments down there. 
Also, in the comments, tell me your favorite Noah Gregson Wendy's paint scheme he's ran so far. Whether it was this one that he ran at Talladega last year, or the one he ran at the Daytona 500 this year, or the one he ran at Talladega this year. Go comment that right now. And I'll see you guys in another video probably tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll see. Bye.